the American dream, the egalitarian concept that everyone may achieve success and prosperity through tenacity and an arduous effort, is challenged by both F. Scott Fitzgerald's novel The Great Gatsby and Adam McKay's film adaptation The Big Short. Both textual and cinematic works highlight the unattainability of the, of the particular dream for most people in the working classes. They depict the dream as morally corrupt, primarily due to the avaricious nature of the upper class and how they exert power and influence over the rest of the meritocratic society, exploiting them for their hedonistic benefits. Scott Fitzgerald explores the moral corruptibility experienced by those striving for the American dream through the perspective of a 1920s bond salesman Nick Carraway. Nick, in his encounters with the affluent and morally compromised members of the 1920s society, discerns the unattainability of, of the dream, prompting him to scrutinise the authentic significance and plausibility of achieving the dream. Fitzgerald also expresses the apparent dichotomy of social class fluidity through Nick Carraway's portrayal of Tom and Daisy Buchanan's behaviour and attitude. They were careless people, Tom and Daisy. They smashed up things and creatures and retreated back into their money. The irony of Tom and Daisy's behaviour highlights the moral corruption within the pursuit of the American dream. Despite their privileged status and resource, they show careless disregard for the consequences of their actions, prioritising hedonistic desires over ethical considerations. The metaphor in Daisy and Tom retreating back into their money suggests that their wealth acts as a shield or refuge from the consequences of their destructive behaviour. It symbolises how materialism and the pursuit of wealth can enable individuals to distance themselves from the moral implications of their actions. Fitzgerald additionally conveys how the pursuit of achieving the American dream can impact one's moral compass through Tom Buchanan's opinions of Jay Gatsby, stating, A lot of these newly rich people are just big bootleggers. The employment of characterization indicates how F. Scott Fitzgerald depicts the newly rich as big bootleggers, emphasising their dubious means of acquiring wealth during the Prohibition era. This characterization serves to portray them as individuals who engage in illegal activities to achieve financial success. In addition, the collateral damage resulting from society's relentless pursuit of the American dream is exemplified through the unintended consequences demonstrated by Myrtle's death. He ran over Myrtle like he ran over a dog and never even stopped his car, and forced a stimuli to juxtapose the lower class to animals. This elucidates to the wealthy elite's relentless drive for the American dream and the destruction they inflict upon the working class in their wake. Adam McKay's The Big Short explores the American dream through the lens of multiple Wall Street financial managers who navigate the tumultuous world of the 2008 financial crisis. Through their experiences, McKay unveils the profound impact that the pursuit of the American dream can have on one's moral compass. As, they, as these managers navigate the complex and morally ambiguous world of finance and find themselves resorting to the deceptive practices and exploiting the flaws within the financial system for personal gain. In contrast to The Great Gatsby, the rating agency scene exemplifies that the American dream can impact one's moral compass. In this scene, Mark Baum and his team confront a representative from the ratings agency who confesses to falsifying the quality of the mortgage-backed securities, stating, if we don't work with them, they will go to our competitor. This reflects the dishonest business practices in the financial industry during the 2008 crisis and the people were prepared to put other, other people's lives in danger to pursue the American dream. In parallel to this dialogue, McKay utilises close-up shots to encapsulate the feelings of emotion on Mark Bump and his team's faces, illustrating their disbelief and anger, which demonstrates the impact that one person's actions can have on another when chasing the American dream. McKay also expresses the illusion and unattainability of the dream for the majority of the lower class civilians through the scene in which Collins and Moses visit Miami. The absence of diegetic sound as the characters venture around the town serves as a deliberate cinematic technique to convey the desolation and abandonment of the area. The over-the-shoulder shots cut between Renter and Moses as he realises that while he's been paying his rent, the homeowner is now 90 days delinquent on his mortgage. This not only shows the unattainability of the dream for many people, but also demonstrates the collateral damage involved with reaching the dream. Later in the film, Jamie, Charlie and Ben find themselves immersed in the realm of the casino, a place renowned for its potential for both grand winnings and substantial losses. Symbolising the essence of the American dream, the casino becomes a metaphorical representation of the trade-off that exists for someone to achieve great success, there must be others who experience failure. This notion is exemplified when the boys, elated by what they perceive as a victory, contemplate celebrating their triumph. However, Ben quickly interjects, reminding them of the consequences of their actions, stating, You just bet against the American economy. If we were right, people lose homes, people lose jobs. Through this dialogue, McKay illustrates the duality inherent in the pursuit of the American dream as an opportunity for personal achievement intertwined with the potential collateral damage it may cause for others. 
F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby and Anna McKay's The Big Short offer different perspectives on the American dream, exploring its pursuit in the potential moral corruption and collateral damage it entails, while effectively representing the complexities and consequences of this elusive ideal. The Great Gatsby portrays the moral decay of the social elite, revealing the emptiness and superficiality behind the pursuit of success. The Big Short exposes the fraudulent practices and lack of ethical responsibility within the financial industry, shedding light on the consequences of unchecked greed and the collapse of the American dream for many people.